Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. They just want to flip, don't they? Queen of Wands reversed. Somebody has lost their ambition or their confidence or their drive or they need to take a new approach. Maybe somebody is feeling a little bit down in the dumps and they need to, you know, find a way to come out of it. You know, you got to find a way to pick myself up, pick yourself up and take back your, 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 uh, self, you know, Queen of Wands reverse is a lack of ambition. Okay. Um. Somebody needs to take a new approach. Wow. There's some sadness here with the Five of Cups. And that's that will certainly bring somebody down. So somebody is down the dumps. Perhaps there's some regrets. And there could be some guilt. There's some um, despair. There is. There's some sort of despair over... You know what has happened but the fact of the matter is, is there's still an opportunity for for love here okay there is but it looks like somebody is really focused on you know something that has happened rather than realizing that there's still opportunity out there there's still opportunity somebody is thinking negative you've got to think positive instead of negative they somebody needs to change their their approach, change their thoughts, change their ways, you know, stop focusing on the hurt, stop focusing on perhaps the rejection, you know, realize that, you know, there's, there's an opportunity for the two cups here, there's an opportunity for love, but the loss has been great, so somebody is really feeling down the dumps over some sort of loss. Unable to transition with the Six of Swords reverse. It's like unable to see that new approach. You have to, you're the driver of your life, right? You are. You're the driver of your ship. You steer the direction that you want to go. Somebody has allowed themselves to stay stuck in a rut when they have the opportunity to go in a new direction. So it looks to me like somebody is refusing to or reluctant to you know realize that there is an opportunity another opportunity I think that somebody is stuck in their old ways or stuck in you know believing that they're never gonna find wish fulfillment you know they're never gonna find love but the fact of the matter is is that it is available. It's available if you could just see that whatever it is that you're focused on is not going to get you anywhere. Somebody's focused on the wrong thing. They are. Somebody is focused on something that is already lost when there is an opportunity here, but they're just not seeing it because of their negative ways, whatever it is. And this is reluctant, just reluctant to see a new approach. Somebody is absolutely focused on a lost opportunity. Wow. You know, there's a lack of courage. This is lack of courage. This is lack of courage. There's a lack of, of strength here. You need to find the inner strength to master your emotions and let what's go, let what's gone be gone. Okay, let it, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Somebody's lost an opportunity. With the it, it is. I mean, with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the opportunity is lost. Somebody may be trying to manifest something that's already gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And somebody is reluctant to let go of an opportunity that is already gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that is what this is. Somebody needs to move forward and they're not.
They need to see things through a different perspective, okay? Think of it in, in a positive way instead of a negative way. Yes, something's been lost. Yes, there's been some hurt. Yes, there's been some pain. There's regrets. There's sadness. But there's an opportunity for love if you could just see it. Wow, five of wands. It's like somebody is still battling. And this is, this I consider this right here an inner battle. This is an inner battle. There's three of cups, three of cups. I mean, there's two cups right here, but the three cups, there's, we got, somebody is focused on, you know, Perhaps a third party situation. Somebody has already moved on to somebody else. There's no joy. There's no happiness. There's no reunion. And it's time to realize that there's still an opportunity in another direction. But you have to move in that direction. And somebody isn't actually moving. You have to move. You have to make the move. Wow. Somebody's not putting in effort to transition. I know a lot of you are. A lot of you are. Maybe you, maybe it's really, 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 really time to stop fighting yourself. To stop sabotaging yourself. Lack of closure. Unfinished business. Yes, there's unfinished business. There is. There's lack of closure in many, many, many circumstances. That doesn't mean that you can't step over that finish line because you can step over that finish line. Somebody is needs to let go of the emptiness instead of holding on to it. We got two. Somebody has been losing sleep, really, really thinking, really, really in a lot of despair, a lot of mental anguish over this unfulfilling situation, you know? And there, right on the end, it's time to take action. Act now, think later. Get the hell out of this situation, whatever it is. Just go. Just go. Stop thinking about it. It's funny. Because this is, this is don't think, just do. This is think. And they came out together. They came out like this. And they fell out. Somebody is thinking instead of doing. Just do it. Just go. Just go. If somebody threw what you had to offer away, get on your horse and get the hell out of there. Get out. If they don't have anything stable, solid to offer you, if they don't have anything long-term to offer you, if they're stealing your energy, if they don't care if they hurt you, if they put you in a competition, if they put you in a third-party situation, if they're not honoring your feelings, if they're bringing you down, get the hell out. Go. Somebody is grieving a loss. And, then, you know, that's normal, right? It is. It's time to transition. But somebody's not putting in the effort that they need to put in. It's like somebody has grown lazy. There's laziness here. There is. There's laziness. The only way you're going to find peace, the only way you're going to find harmony, the only way you're going to get to the other side of this pain is to face it. And get on your horse and get the hell out, okay? The only way, the only way. Somebody is really holding on to a situation that has already ended, okay? It has, it has. It's like they're allowing this situation to steal their energy to the point where <laughs> sleep is 
nil, okay? There's so much lack of sleep that because the thoughts are, there's so much regret, there's so much sadness, there's so much pain, there's so much anguish, when the fact of the matter is, is if you take action, everything would change. You have to take action. It's in your hands. In order to bring peace and harmony back to whatever this situation is, you have to take action. And if and somebody's not, somebody's not putting in effort to, to you know, realize, or they're not putting in effort to see that there is an opportunity for love. They're just not seeing it. They're not. They don't care. You know, they don't care. And it's like they're only hurting themselves. They're hurting themselves by focusing on what happened when it could be they could move to a better place, but they're not. They're just not moving to a better place. Somebody just isn't doing it. They aren't taking the action that they need to take. Um... There's a, there's a lot of depression here. There's depression. And, and the thing is, is that you have an opportunity to change your path at any time. But you have to be practical. You have to be realistic. You have to stand up for yourself. And you have to bring victory and success to your life, to your life and not rely on anybody else to, to give it to you. It just feels like we have somebody here that is really battling their own demons about letting go of something that is holding them back. You know, something that really, really hurt them. A lot of pain here. There is. There's there's a lot of emotional um, loss, you know. There is. There's, there's loss here. And, and this, this, this has happened without closure. I think there's an opportunity that has slipped away without getting the closure that was needed. And this, clo this lack of closure has made somebody feel like they can't move on. But the fact of the matter is, all you have to do is master your emotions, stand up and realize that there is a better opportunity for love. There is. You got to be practical. That fell out. You got to be wise. You got to be responsible. You got to work hard. You got to be disciplined. Somebody needs to find the discipline. To come out of this lazy and complacent energy if you don't put in the work to evolve if you don't put in the work to let go then you're not going to find the abundance that you deserve you have to work for it I feel like we have somebody here that is grieving the loss of a huge opportunity. A huge opportunity. A huge loss. There's a, there is a huge loss here. There is. And somebody is regretting that all of this happened. There's a lot of regret here. And there is some unfinished business. And somebody is thinking about how they can fix it. But the only way that they can fix it is to take action. And somebody doesn't have the courage to take any action. There's no courage. Cowardly. There's a coward. Cowardly here. Cowardly. I'm sorry. Some of you won't want to hear that. But. You have to believe. You have to have faith. This is the Hierophant. You need to follow your own path. You need to believe in yourself. You need to follow your inner guide. A lot of you have been seeking answers. 
and you're hearing them, but are you listening? Are you listening? Because you are being guided. But you have to listen and you have to follow through. Now, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ooh, Emperor reversed. Ooh, Three of Wands reversed. Somebody has wasted a lot of time. They have wasted a lot of time expecting somebody to change, expecting somebody to come forward with the truth when they're really dealing with somebody who is very manipulative and controlling and doesn't care who they hurt. All this person cares about is being in control. Oh my God. I think somebody is really angry and upset that angry, upset, and emotionally distraught, okay? Emotionally distraught over losing a huge opportunity. And I think they lost this opportunity because of ego and pride and wanting to control situations and um, not putting in a lot of effort, not putting in a lot of work to make the, the commitment work out. There could have been a fear of commitment and now this person regrets, you know, doing whatever they did somebody somebody involves somebody in a third party situation in which now they regret it now they regret it and they wish they didn't throw the opportunity away and they did throw the opportunity away and now it's too late now it's too late and i feel like um this person whoever it was that let go and involved another person regrets it, okay? They regret it. They regret it. And they probably want to fix it, but they don't have the courage to do so. <laughs> I don't know who this reading is for, but I feel like this person, whoever it is, that wasted time has not been able to sleep at night at all. Has not been able to sleep at night. Um, maybe even having nightmares. Um, somebody wants a fresh start. Somebody. Uh, has been enlightened. Somebody has been enlightened about their wicked ways and they want to, they want a fresh start. They do want a fresh start and they now realize that they should have given instead of been being so stingy. Somebody uh, involved somebody that wasn't well suited for them to perhaps fill a void. They were living a lie. Somebody was living a lie. And I think now they have removed that, or that that person that they involved has been removed. They're, they're no longer with that person or that person's 
the obstacle that was in the way, whether it's a person or whatever this applies to you, has been removed, and now they they want a fresh start. I think that somebody wants to start over. I think the blindfold has been ripped off. Somebody is now realizing that they should have given more instead of giving up. Uh -huh. The lovers. Right here. I feel I feel as though there's going to be an unexpected opportunity for love here. It's going to come out of the blue. I feel like there has been an obstacle that has been removed from somebody's life and now they are ready to move forward towards perhaps a soulmate. I feel like somebody was involved with a person that was not well suited for them and they are breaking free. They're breaking free from that commitment that wasn't right and perhaps they're now realizing that They wasted their time trying to hurt another person. And I know that's hard to understand, but it's like somebody was trying to prove a point, trying to hurt, you know what I mean? Trying, you know what I'm trying to say, trying to hurt another person, you know, trying to prove a point. And I feel like now somebody realizes that Playing this game has caused them to lose the opportunity that was perfect, you know, whatever that means. I really feel like somebody wants to start over. Somebody wants to start over. But I think that there's 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 options here. I think that what has happened is somebody is regretting throwing away a huge opportunity, a commitment. Yeah, they're regretting throwing away this opportunity, a commitment. Now they want a fresh start. They've been enlightened and they're upset and they're angry because the opportunity that they threw away is gone. It's gone. But now they want to give. They've, they've, they've lost too much sleep. There's been too much depression. There's too, been too much anguish. They've wasted a lot of time trying to hurt another person. Now it's time to take action. Act now, think later. And perhaps this person is trying to, is thinking about how they can fix this. So I feel like, what is it, March 2nd? Tomorrow the 2nd? I'm still on February up there. Yeah, I feel like somebody is thinking about how they can take action to Unite with their soulmate, whoever that is. I think that the third party situation has been removed for some of you. Won't be for every everybody. But for some of you, the third party situation has been removed. I think that somebody has realized this person was not good for them. It was a very negative situation. 
I think they were involved with a with a Debbie Downer and they realized that somebody else was their perfect match. Now I don't know who this reading is for. But I really feel like somebody is realizing that they want to start over and have a commitment in which they threw it away in the past. So I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody may receive some sort of, I don't even see a message. Actually, this could be a message coming in. Somebody taking action. This is taking action. Right now, somebody's just thinking about taking action. Okay, right now somebody's just thinking about taking action with the Knight of Swords reverse and the Nine of Swords upright. Somebody's just thinking about taking action. But they, they, they're scared. They don't know if it will be accepted. They don't know they don't know what to expect if they do take action. But they're thinking about opening up and giving. But there's been a lot of lies and there's been obstacles in the way. But they do realize that there's a perfect match at the end of this dramatic situation. So this is an unexpected offer of love. So somebody may receive an unexpected offer of love from somebody that has just gotten out of perhaps a relationship. Okay, somebody has gotten it. Some sort of obstacle has been removed. And I think that somebody is probably going to receive an offer that is quite unexpected. Um, hmm. I don't know who this reading is for. Let's see. Let's get a couple of Angel Romance cards. Somebody is living with the consequences of their choice. That's what's happening here. Somebody is dealing with the consequences of their choice and now realizing the loss, you know, the huge loss that their that their pride and ego has caused. And now it's like they know they need to take action, but they probably might not have the courage to do so. So I'm not sure what that is. A lot of grieving going on here. A lot of sadness. Regrets. Big deal right here. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And that's what happened. That's what happened here. Addictions got in the way. Not wanting to be alone. Somebody was trying to teach somebody else a lesson by involving a third party. That is a codependent action. Okay? And somebody does want to give it a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And that is exactly what this is. Somebody is wanting to start over in a relationship. They may come to you asking for another chance. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. So I really feel like, I don't know who this reading... Oh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this could go so many ways. I really feel like somebody is... Or needs to take action. To move on. To move on. I mean, this is for so many people, and that's why there's so many different energies here. We have somebody who's stuck. Somebody who's stuck in their, in their past. Somebody that is stuck in their, their, their guilt, their depression, their, their loss. When they have another opportunity for love, they need to release their ex so that they can have true love. Okay? They do. For some of you... It's about not giving up. It's about not giving up and putting in extra effort to make a relationship last before it's too late. Because once it's gone, it's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. So I feel like there's been an opportunity that has been thrown away. 
and there's an opportunity for true love if somebody can take action action needs to be taken whether it's you actually truly letting go of your ex or working to make a relationship work whichever way which whichever way it goes there is going to be an unexpected offer of love okay that's what this is you're going to have to make a decision perhaps somebody is coming in they want you to give them a chance but the only way that you can give them a chance is to release your ex this could go so many ways this is an unexpected offer of love period you have a choice to make do you want it or not whether it's with your ex or it's with somebody new we have an unexpected offer coming in for somebody do you want to focus on the pain or do you want to focus on love because you have a choice you do it's up to you it's up to you that's what I got good luck